press the F2 one time it will change the color And it helps the mouse function so you can press the mouse and also search button when you charge the battery it will uh, show the red light okay good evening everyone today video I'm going to show you how to use the mini keyboard with the backlight and the built-in mouse pad and today video I'm going to show you how to connect it and use it with first with the computer PC and then with uh, my smartphone as you can see on here and finally I'm going to use it with uh, my Samsung smart TV so now uh, let's check it out okay first of all I'm going to show you with the keyboard first so as you can see here it has the light on the keyboard and mostly most people want to ask uh, how to turn on the light and you just press this F1 and then here is the logo it's F2 so just press it hold on and then press the F2 once time it will change the color second time and then it turn back to color green blue red and off so it only have the three color changing and here is the turn on and off bottom so you can turn it on it has the it here it have the off here it off and here it's on so we turn it off and then on the back you can turn take it out and you can see here it's the wireless USB connection and here is the removable battery so you can remove it and here it has the normal battery just use a triple A two piece but the connection I cannot connect with the battery because it don't have the connection so now this uh, can use only the built-in battery okay and to connect it with the computer you need to plug this one to the USB of the computer so now I already uh, open a game on the computer so I plug it on and now let's see it's clear on the computer okay now I try to control it with uh, one game it's the so you can see it's work it's uh, very well and then Okay, now I escape. Escape and then just press the enter. Okay, here is the mouse pad, so we can connect the mouse pad to the computer too. So it here uh, when you press one finger, it left can left click on the mouse, and the two fingers. it scrolling down so we check out on the YouTube video two finger okay two finger is scroll up and scroll down Okay, and for the three finger, three finger, 
it's a right click of the mouse so when you press three finger it will uh, click the right click okay and we can type in as well a delete and uh, this one is the print screen so let's check it out and it's print screen okay pen then I press the control V button and you can see it here it's a print screen from the print screen can work okay so this one is work with, uh, very well with the computer so now it's time for the connect to my mobile phone to connect to a mobile phone you need the it's called the adapter that can make your mobile connection to the USB connection so now I just plug it on the connection port and then connect it into the mobile phone okay now let's see deeply to the mobile phone so here I have the mouse you can see on the screen so I just press on the selection and I let replay the game so it's not a uh, some boot bottom is not work well with the uh, game app but I can use the mouse pad as the connect on the mobile phone okay I can control it uh, uh, very well with the mouse pad and now let's check on the another app so on the screen we have the mouse also and then I open the YouTube app okay now let's try to scroll when we scroll with three finger it can scroll two finger no uh, option and I want to search uh, mini keyboard okay and it's working escape and go to home page home page okay now on the notepad we can type in you can see when I press the keyboard it can uh, type in on it so we let try to print screen okay so now it prints screen so i show you once more time wait print screen it capture the print screen okay okay and uh, it's also can use with the mobile phone you just need the adapter so now let's try to connect with the tv so to connect with the tv you just need a uh, only to plug this one to the USB port of the TV first of all you need just plug the this one into your TV USB okay now I already plugged the connection to the TV so let's try okay 
Okay, it works with the keyboard, but uh, there are no signal on the mouse. So I try to search the word uh, mini keyboard. And delete also. Okay, and press OK. So it can search the uh, end typing and it takes. So some button may not work on the some TV. So when you go into the internet, so here it have the mouse uh, because the YouTube function on this TV don't have the mouse. But when you go to the internet, and it have the mouse function, so you can press the mouse and also search button. the enter so it work all the button here it's uh, like the computer and uh, finally I will show you some other accessory on it so here is the box it have the box like this and this mini keyboard with back light and here is the back of the box inside of it it have the plastic cover of this uh, keyboard and the uh, user manual and there is nothing else just uh, include with the USB connection and the chargeable battery and here is the charging port so you just connect it and you need adapter to you need to connect with your phone adapter to charge with the with its uh, battery so now i turn it off first okay on my socket i have the usb port just connect to it so when you charge the battery it will uh, show the red light on this uh, battery logo So take it out and when you turn it on it will show the signal blue signal here and sometimes when you see the orange light is blinking like that it means that it lost connection with the wireless USB because now I didn't connect any uh, any accessory to it so when you connect for example I connect to the phone So when you type something and it just bling so when you type something it just bling one time and there are no blinking uh, the the orange light is not blinking uh, on and on lights before because it got the signal from the uh, wireless USB already Okay, and I think that's all for today's video of uh, reviewing my mini keyboard backlight with the touchpad built-in. And I hope this video will get you some more idea of how to use this mini keyboard. And thank you again for your time. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye and have a nice day.